Hello and welcome back to Open Growing Up Gonzalez, a show by playwright Felix Rojas tells the story of brotherly love and the healing power of saying goodbye. Here now to share more about the play, we welcome the author and playwright of Growing Up Gonzalez, Felix Rojas. Hello and welcome. Hey, Rena. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Congratulations Thank on you so this much. new round of Growing Up Gonzalez. That's right. new round. And so, you know, before we, we uh, got on air, uh, we were just having a conversation about the show's uh, revival coming in a different form and, and basically captivating new audiences as if though it was a new show. How do you do that? You know, and, and I never thought of it like that until we had this conversation. And, and it feels great. It feels really good to be able to uh, develop a, a new audience because a lot of the people who are coming to see the show now never saw the show. Although we do have a lot of people coming to see it again to see what we did with it. Um, you know, the idea is to keep it fresh. You know, to, to obviously you have to believe in your project and you have to have the right people behind you. And uh, we, got a, we have a great team, great team of producers. Uh, including, you know, Maria Torres, she's one of our producers, and uh, the actor, Andrea Chulisi Rodriguez, who was the original uh, Gonzalez uh, back in 2012 at uh, the John Hughes Playhouse. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're in 2017. It's already been three years, right? Because you, you, you had the original uh, with Andres Chulisi, and then you had Luis Antonio Ramos, right. and then you went back to the original. And what I find most fascinating, which we're going to share with you guys a little bit about the story, uh, in case you haven't seen it. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming everybody's seen Growing Up Gonzalez, but most people, when they revive a, a play, they, they tour it and they move it into different cities. And um, you've chosen to revive it here again, and it is a story about the Bronx, right? That's Growing right. up in the Bronx, That's right. uh, which, which is why I said we're going to share with you guys uh, some of the uh, the um, the premises behind the story because it is a one-man show but it's not just a one-man show it, it's it's a nice narrative and, and it, it takes you on a nice it's nostalgic it's a very um, well done well thought out I, I, I believe you're still using the uh, video aspect of narration as well right a little different but we are using it yes we are using it um, the video doesn't it doesn't uh, we, we don't use it as much as we did the first time you know we kind of rely more on the story which has been improved it's a better story than it was in 2012. Um, we, we changed uh, a, a lot of the core of the show um, and it flows better it works better uh, we get uh, we've been getting a great reaction from it and we're in a good place 52nd street between uh, 10th and 11th a lot of theater people down there and you know, this, this, this particular show, this particular revival was to be a showcase, to get in front of the right people, to hopefully move it to the next level, to hopefully start to tour the show. And, you know, I'm happy to say that we do have a booking agent who's actually starting to plan our schedule for after September throughout the country, which is a blessing. I'm nice. looking forward to that. Very nice. So, Congratulations so, so on I think that. we need another, another actor to, do, to, uh, to travel as we do the play here. So if you know any good, uh, good actors, pass them to me. Wow, that's very cool. That's nice. I, I assume that the, the actor would, would be the one traveling, but you're going to have it uh, operating simultaneously. That's the goal, yeah. That's, that's cool. the goal. We'd like to have a nice little open-ended run here in a legitimate off-Broadway house, mm -hmm. you know, 200 seats, 210, right. somewhere right. around there, and to tour, to have a company touring as well. And so because uh, I've seen it, so I, I know the the general premise of, of the story, um, but can we share with our viewers the why it's so important for you to share this story and um, to revive it and to keep reviving it, right? Because you, you've written some books, you've written other plays. I, I mean, I've been following your, your career and you've done some really great work. And Thank I you. love the authenticity you. in your voice. Thank you, I appreciate You know, that. and that you keep it urban, right? Mm. And so you're, you're, ca you're ca capturing our, um, our urban history and you're putting it on stage and you're, you're almost like refining it, refining it, and, and it seems to be capturing people. So I just want to know what is it about it that's so important to you and what is it that everybody needs to leave with or what, what's your intention in having everybody leave with this story, like especially when you decide to tour it in, in different states where they may not be able to relate so easily. Well, you know, this, this show is about two brothers in the Bronx. You know, uh, one brother passes away and it's the other brother's responsibility to go in his apartment and clean it out. Just one of those things you have to do when somebody dies. And while he's cleaning it out, <coughs> he, finds a, he finds a box. Excuse that's me, okay. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I've been there. 
uh, he finds a box full of his younger brother's writing. And he starts to go through it and starts to, starts to uh, um, uh, meet a brother, basically through his writing, that he really never knew. And uh, really, you know, the, uh, the, the, what, what I'd love for the audience to come out with is, you know, life is short and we all have that person in our life that, you know, we're just not communicating properly with and, and we're just waiting and waiting. And, uh, you know, hopefully the play teaches people, don't wait because, you know, you're not in charge of what happens last. You, right. know? you, don't, you might not have the time. So that's, that's the thing, forgiveness. It's all about forgiveness, this play, I think. Right. It, it, and, and, you know, while he's bringing out that component, it's very comical, too, <laughs> because you have Andres Trulisi, who we love, yeah, who is he's a, he's amazing yeah. and can carry a whole sh show. <laughs> How long is the show? The show with the intermission has been running about two hours. It's two hours. This is one man one carrying on a two hour show. Yeah. And I'm telling you, OK, I'm one of those people that when I go to shows, um, Broadway, not off Broadway. If I'm looking at my watch, like the minute thing. I look at my watch, it's like, okay, okay. you lost me. Right. This man will keep you there the entire two hours. I promise you that. It is. It is. It's hilarious. We have people, you know, I got into the theater late last night and coming up the steps on the first floor, we're on the third floor, I could hear the audience laughing. I said, all right, we're having a good show as I'm, as I'm walking up the steps. And then when I get up there, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the show changes, changes direction and everybody's crying and I'm like, wow, what an emotional roller coaster this guy takes you on. And uh, not too many people can do that for two hours. That's right. And um, also, you, there's, it's really both of you up there in a sense, right? Because you wrote it. I mean, he knows how to yeah. bring it to life and, and captivate everybody and keep everybody on, on the journey. But um, you wrote it. Right. So what was that like for you? And what was that process for you? You know, the writing process for me is, is the best. If I could choose to do anything, I'd be on Puerto Rico and Isla Belle just writing, you know, writing, writing scripts and movies and shows. Um, but unfortunately, when you're doing this kind of stuff, you wear a lot of different hats. So I directed it as well. The writing is, is great. I love to write. The directing was, was difficult. You know, Andre did it before in the past, and he had these old characters in him that, that he really loved. Uh, so we had to kind of exercise the old characters and, and bring these new guys alive that right. we wanted to. Because they're different. They're very different. And if you come and see the show, you'll see. So that was the most difficult part, letting go of the old and, and uh, embracing the new. Right. Yeah. It seems to be uh, the theme of uh, revival. Right. There right? you go. That's in, right. in every sense of the word. That's right. That's in right. Every it's sense constantly of evolving. Always evolving. And it should be. And, and that's how we all should be that's in right. life. That's right. Period. So it's great. It's great that you're, you exercise it in your craft as well, in your artistry. So uh, the play is still running. Um, it's going to be running till April 6th, right? April 9th. April 9th. April 9th. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you short. April 9th. And I know you're looking for it to be open-ended. So um, what do you hope to gain from here until April 9th? From here to April 9th, I would, ha I would love to have a... Uh, uh, an addition to my an addition to my producing team that can help us move it to a bigger theater. That's the goal. And if not, if it doesn't happen, we had a great run. You know, we we shared our story again with a lot of people, and that's what it's all about. All right. And so, any last words for our viewers who want to are considering coming to see the show? Yeah, you know, come and see the show. I, I promise you'll have a great time. You'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll think. You'll you'll get in touch with some things that uh, you probably have been avoiding for a little while. And uh, last night was an amazing night. One of the audience members, uh, you know, she just burst into tears just saying goodbye to me and how we helped her begin a healing process in her life with her own brother. I love that. I love that. So and in the process, there's this about. healing aspect that, right. that comes with it definitely. automatically. I, I loved it. I loved the show. And you know what? I'm looking forward to seeing this round. Awesome. Uh, so congratulations Thank again, you. Felix. Thank you and for once again, Oh, absolutely. You. And once again, you guys, Growing Up Gonzalez, uh, currently being performed by Andres Chulisi Rodriguez, is running through April 9th at the Medicine Theater located on 549 West 52nd Street, excuse me, 549 West 52nd Street between 10th and 11th Avenue in Manhattan. And for more information, visit growingupgonzalez.com. And Gonzalez is spelled with an S at the end. All right, so uh, yeah, check out growingupgonzalez.com. You won't be disappointed. All right, we're taking a break, but don't go anywhere. Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next.